double FT fellow forex traders i am toxicity and in today's video i'm going to show you exactly what you need to do a step-by-step -step system which you can follow in order to make those eye watering earth shaking profits let's get straight to it as we can see right now the price is bearish price is going in a downward direction which means that the sellers are pretty much in control of the whole market we can also see that we have a day structure break which means that the sellers are still in serious control of the market at no point within this section do we see that the buyers have taken control of anything so all we're looking for is sales in the market now we proceed to the 4 h time frame i can already see that we have certain supply zones we have a supply zone over here so i draw it out into the future and a market identified as a 4 h but also just below our day structure break level i can identify that we have a wick rejection area right over here so i mark that as well just like that now we drop down to our 2h time frame now we're seeing what is happening on a smaller time frame 2h this is it this is not our zone on 2h we can actually tweak it just a little bit because they're pretty much the same area anyway so that is it right there market as 2h zone so we've done that now we'll drop down to 1h time frame on 1h time frame we can now see the order block properly so i'm still going to leave the 2h zone as it is i'm not going to tweak it but the 1h i'm going to draw it from the body into the future just like so and identify it as the 1h unmitigated order block now quick lesson on areas of influence okay we're going to draw this section over here okay so this section over here which is the bottom side which is the wick of this doji candle okay i do not use it at all i only use zones so, so this is a bearish unmitigated order block i only use the section from the body right to the top of the wick anything below that this wick i do not accept it as my area as my point of interest so this area in yellow it's actually called the land of regret because if you place your entry around this section you're definitely going to regret it and you will be disappointed so that being said now i'm going to fast forward the price action all the way till about 6 a.m now we're going to turn on our asia session so this dark black box is our asia session okay if you know anything about asia box asia session is that price during the london session is usually going to stop hunt the asia session grab the liquidity which is resting around this level so all these highs around here i'm going to zoom in so all these highs they are literally liquidity levels which are there for the market makers to take and grab so i anticipate for there to be a liquidity grab which is, is also called a stop hunt so what the market does is that it grabs liquidity from the highs and the lows in order to maximize their profit because the purpose of the banks within the forex market is to make more money this is what they're about so if the first move came down here then i would take it to the upside towards the high of asia and if the first move goes into this section i would then take it towards this level right here which is the previous day low that's how i look at the market so it's about where does the market go first then I'll jump on that trade immediately. So now I'm going to drop down the time frame to 30 minutes. On 30 minutes, we can see that our order block has shifted, but I'm going to go lower because I've already identified my order block on 1H. But we're going down to a smaller time frame to find those miniature zones which are responsible for the price movements. This is the order block on 15 minutes. This is it. We draw it into the future. Let's color it blue. Let's put an edge to it. Let's put a border so that we can see exactly what's going on let's not forget that this yellow section is not we are not interested into anything that happens within this yellow section now this as you can see there is a sharp move to the downside the sharp move to the downside is very good it shows that it's an impulsive area and it broke all the structures that's a break that's also a break of structure so it broke several levels on its way down this move to the downside this impulsive move broke several structures on its way down which shows that the sellers are prepared to push the price to the downside as soon as the price reaches that level there you have it break if you have an order block 
which breaks several structures on its way down. That's a very good sign that that's a strong order block. Okay, so now that we have all that set, this is around 645. Now we anticipate what the market is going to do. This level at the bottom is also a good order block. Okay, it was an impulsive move. It broke um, the swing high in two candles. This is a good level. So once again, if the price comes to the downside first, we will take it towards Asia high. And if the price moves towards this level first, we will take it towards the previous day low because the market is bearish okay so now let's play the press drop down to one minute time frame now there you have it so as you can see all this price action over here all that is inducement what is inducement inducement is when inducement is when the price lures and entices retail traders to enter the market early so just imagine there are traders all over the world entering euro ad and trying to sell the euro in this kind of manner just like this entering early anticipating to make loads of money and they all got stopped out in the process because they don't know that order blocks need to be entered from specific entries so all of this they would have all been stopped out and be out of the game so it's very important to know where to enter the price action from this yellow section is a land of regret you should avoid it at all costs so now that the price has reached our 15 minute order block which is this section in purple we are waiting for a structure break a structure break is identified as a swing low in this example a swing low so now that the price has actually reached our 15 minute order block right here we now have to identify a swing low the swing low, our swing low is right over here. So when the price breaks this level and closes below this swing low, that is officially a structure break. That's going to be a structure break. So we are anticipating a move, a price to actually close below this level. Once that happens, we are going to wait for a return towards our origin candle, followed by the price action going towards the previous day low as I take profit. So right there, the price actually closed below our swing low. That's the structure break. Now we have to identify a new origin. A new origin is my way of calling the highest supply candle in this scenario. So this is the highest supply candle within this impulsive bearish move to the downside. This is it. Mark it into the future. At this point, at this very point, when you get a structure break, you should start placing your sell limit orders. Whatever platform you use, whatever broker you use, this is the time to start placing your sell limits so right here we have 2.1 pips stop loss but so this candle right here is actually the one responsible for the price moving to the downside the small one minute candle that actually looks very insignificant but it's actually very mighty so we put our sell limit around this level and our take profit is going to be the previous day low why is it going to be the previous day low because the price is actually bearish and I anticipate that the price can easily reach the previous day low without no hesitation whatsoever. So this right here is our take profit. This line is our take profit. And as you can see, if you just risked, if you had 1000 pounds in your account and you got stopped out, you would lose 10 pounds or $10. However, you can see that the take profit is 48%. So if you actually win this trade, your take profit is going to be $489 or pounds, depending on what currency you are using. So let's play the price and see what happens. Dropping down to one minute time frame and continuing the process. So at this point, we have been triggered into, into the market by this move over here. At this point, we are already live and direct in the market right here just like so and now we have to just wait whether the price is going to reach our level or we get stopped out or anything like that the price could just go down stop us out but whatever happens as you can see always place the stop loss you need to risk manage correctly 
and you need to know exactly what you're doing when you're entering on such small time frames the smaller the time frame the higher the risk that you are going to get stopped out the bigger the time frame the lesser the risk of being stopped out but you also are going to make less money in the forex market so that's up to you you need to decide what works best for you and your situation so as you can see the price is going towards our take profit that's 48 percent this is what is possible if you know exactly what you were doing in the forex market there you have it that took so from 1 p.m to approximately 4 p.m that's three hours three hours 48 percent so what i tell people a lot of the times is that if i can do it you can definitely do it it's all about knowledge it's all about application and execution and you need to overcome certain psychological factors such as fear anxiety and so forth so if you found this video very useful make sure you like subscribe and if you want to learn exactly how to do this with a mentor like myself all you have to do is click the link in the description section below i'll see you guys in the next one take care blessings